be so for me. I say it is the moon. I know it is the moon. Nay, then you lie. It is the blessed sun. Thank God be blessed. It is the blessed sun. And sun it is not when you say it is not. And the moon changes even as your mind. But you will have it named even that it is. And so it shall be so for Katerina. Petruchio, go thy ways. The field is won. Well, forward, forward. Thus the bowl should run. And not unluckily against the bias. But soft company is coming here. Oh, good morrow, gentle mistress, where away? Oh, tell me, sweet Kate, and tell me truly too, hast thou beheld a fresher gentlewoman? Oh, such war of white and red within her cheeks. What stars bespangle heaven as do these your beautiful eyes become that heavenly face? Oh, fine, lovely maiden, good day once again to thee. Sweet Kate, embrace her for her beauty's sake. Oh, we'll make the man mad to make a woman of him. Young budding virgin, fair and fresh and sweet, whither away or where is thy abode? Happy the parents of so fair a child, happier the man whom favourable stars allot thee for his lovely bedfellow. <laughs> how now, Kate? I hope thou art not mad. This is a man, old, wrinkled, faded. <laughs> Withered. And not a maiden, as thou sayest he is. Pardon, oh father, my mistaking eyes that have been so bedazzled with the sun that everything I look on seemeth green. Now I perceive thou art a reverend father. Pardon, I pray thee for my mad mistaking. Do, good old grandsire, with all make known which way thou travellest. Oh, if along with us, we shall be joyful of thy company. Oh, fair sir, and you are my very mistress, now with your strange encounter, much amazing me. My name is called Vincentio, my dwelling Pisa, and bound I am to Padua, there to visit a son of mine, which long I have not seen. What is his name? Oh, Lucentio, gentle sir. Oh, why happily we met, the happier for thy son, and now by law, as well as reverend age, I may entitle thee my loving father. The sister to my wife, this gentlewoman, thy son by this has married. Oh, wonder not, nor be grieved. She is of good esteem, her endowment wealthy and of worthy <laughs> birth. Besides, so qualified as to be seen the spouse of any noble gentleman. Let me embrace, let me embrace, oh, old Vincentio. And wonder we to see thy honest son, who will, of thy arrival, be full joyful. Oh, oh, but is this true, or else is it your pleasure, like pleasant travelers, to break a jest upon the company you overtake? I do assure you, father, so it is. Oh. Come, go along, and see the truth hereof, for our first merriment hath made thee jealous. <laughs>